Hey everyone, it's Chime Time and this is Cooking Avenue. We're like a little more than halfway through Couchlands. Uh, who knows how long in the quarantine, <laughs> my fellow quarantiners. And uh, I know we did a pickle episode with me and Carly having pickles, but she made them. I'm going to learn them myself. And these are like the preliminary steps. We have our cucumbers over here, which have been sliced into quarters or quarter rounds. Like some nice spear-like looking things. It's okay if they don't come out super straight because um, it's okay to be gay. <laughs> but what we've done is we've taken this really old salt that I found in my house and applied it to the, the cucumbers, the cukes as they're called. And the whole trick is to just take these, I guess, and stick them in the fridge. So we'll be back. And we're back. <laughs> the, it's later in the day. The sun is up. <laughs> but whatever the case is, we're being a little bit experimental. And one of the most important parts here is that you got your ingredients together and that you um, have the correct amount of them. <laughs> and when I say the correct amount of them, we have... 12 ounces of vinegar or apple cider vinegar, which is this brand, Bragg. And then we have 16 ounces of water. And the reason why I say we're getting experimental is just because there's a lot of different recipes on the internet. I don't really remember. I wasn't paying attention too much or I have a bad memory when, when uh, Carly was explaining uh, what to do. Also, I was editing vi uh, car videos back then. But anyway, what you want to do is you want to fill up your jar completely of water and then pour it inside the measuring cup first so that you know what quantity of fluids that you need. But I guess uh, for every 12 ounces of um, vinegar, you want 16 ounces of water. I mean, fingers crossed this comes out good. I'm throwing these uh, garlic hearts or cloves. I'm throwing those in whole. I want to eat the whole pickled thing. I ran out of onion because I ate it all because I was hungry. Uh, we have yuki, which is a Korean spicy steak kind of uh, sauce. I also use it in oysters. Really good. Uh, eventually I'll make a video with that. And then we're going to dump some uh, Sabret's spicy sauce in there. And it's going to go in this saucepan. So we're gonna pour it all in. Boom, boom, boom. Like what goes in the saucepan is the brine. And basically you want your, whatever ingredients you have in the brine. You don't wanna go too crazy. You're supposed to only put like some, some tablespoons worth of stuff in here. Or teaspoons worth that seems like a teaspoon's amount of mustard i think it's a bit heavy um again your teaspoon is your smaller spoon my spoons are a mess this is a tablespoon this is a teaspoon let's go back in there gross see if i can hold this I can't, I can't hold it. <laughs> that was a fail. But, well, this is what Yuki looks like. Mmm, delicious. It's in the brine now. You can't see, but it is. I'll show you in a second. Go for two teaspoons of that. Brine time. <laughs> Not chime time, but brine time. I'm gonna stir this up. And that is not the lid for this. That is the lid for this. And, oops, wrong one. And we're gonna let that heat up. I don't know if you could see the flame. But yeah, anyway, 
we're gonna let that heat up and we'll get back to the rest of the video. And we're back again. I might do this one more time in this video, but anyway, the salt we have isn't the best. It's iodized and that means it doesn't help things ferment as well, but I've used it in the past and it was fine for this recipe or something close to this recipe. This is what Carly used. Um, anyway, I, we had dill last time. I don't have dill anymore because I ate it all because I love it. So I have some basil and we're gonna throw some basil into the mix. Every once in a while, you're gonna, gonna stir this. Looks how pretty it looks. But anyway, while that's boiling or getting to a boil, we are gonna take the time to take these pickles and stick them in. And then we're gonna take these guys, stick them in there, maybe nice and mixed. And stick some more in there. And then stick some of these guys in there. You don't really have to do this stuff in any particular order. But I'm actually trying to make it pretty. And the video says that I watched that I'm making this video off of is to compress everything, squash it in there because the pickles shrink. And you want them to be fully submerged. It was really pretty at first for the video, but now it's a problem. Just put it in. Okay. Oh, there are so many hiding in here. How are we gonna do this? I might just have to eat some cucumbers. Or just squeeze them in with force, manhandle. Use, use those patriarchy skills. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The patriarchy wins again. <laughs> Let's see, stir this up. All right, that's almost boiling. Again, I always fuck myself when I do this. Sorry, I'm a French. We're turning the heat up. I don't wanna say we're back one more time. Oh, we're good, we're magic. So now we can carefully, or as carefully as we can, pour this, be terrified of pouring it. Truth be told, Let's get a plate. Let's get a plate going on. Let's make a, a big old mess. Let's get it full of this stuff. Ah. Holy hell. I have way too much mix. <laughs> it's a good thing I put a plate there. Look how much I have left. I can make a whole second jar of pickles. I might even take a mason jar and just a spare one that I have. We got so much kombucha. I might take my extra mason jar and store some of my mix and make some more pickles in the future. <laughs> what a disaster. What a pleasant disaster. And it's really hot, so I could burn myself when I do this. So anyway, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna cap that up? <laughs> Squeeze it tight. Oh man! Oh dear! Oh dear! Look how pretty it looks! <laughs> oh, Carly's gonna laugh so much at this one. Anyway, you could dry it off the best you can. You know. Good job, champ. You did a good one dealing with my with my bull crap. All right. And then in the fridge you go for a few days. We'll look at the instructions some more. Probably had hers in for like three or four days. It's fine. Three or four days is enough. All right. That was exhausting. It's so much harder to do this alone. If you want to be on my show and 
Look at that meme. Let's put that away. If you want to be my show, I'm taking applications. Really? <laughs> Just put it in the comments. <laughs> Cheers. I'm Chime Time. This has been Cooking Avenue, and I am so happy you're here. Oh my gosh, we're back again. <laughs> so what happened is that there's all this leftover brine. We actually got a new... Um, a whole new mason jar from the crazy huge reserve that I have, if you've been watching my other videos. And we have all these pickles that I'm going to have a hard time eating because there's so much food, because um, it's just me now. So we are literally going to just place these in there and, and pickle these multicolored <laughs> grape tomatoes. Get in there. Get in there, you. I think the big ones would have been better to put on the top, really. But anyway, this is the best we can do on such short notice, and it is not pretty, but it actually fits the perfect amount, and like I said, time was the, of the essence. I'm super into, you know, um, the 10 principles, and um, the last 10 principle is immediacy. If you see that all the way at the bottom. And uh, I guess civic responsibility is good. Leave no trace, you know, no waste. Um, Self-reliance. Yeah, we're definitely reliant here. Let's put that back where I have it on the wall. And we're gonna put you in here. Make sure you're nice, screwed, screwed on tight. And we're gonna put you in with the other guys and the kombucha for just a few days. Look how pretty they look. All right, I'm happy you're still here. <laughs> this is a funny one, guys. I'm Chime Time, and this is Cooking Avenue. Live to love. Cheers, hang in there. I am... Um... <laughs>